so after um, a bit of tinkering and fiddling and so, I've got the central laying fitted. So there it's fitted all the way around. It's a nice gap that I've got here. The gap obviously should be refined a little bit more. And so yeah, so it fits in more nicely. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll the central leg just over the edge, just a slight bit, and then I'm going to rivet it up near the end. Um, this will obviously help support it, and obviously running over the edge, I can give a bit of protection near the end of it and hold it there together. So, so that's what I'm going to do now, just to line it all up, and yeah, nearly done. Okay, great. So where we've come to now is I've wrapped the edges around the around the edge of the brim, and then I've cut the holes in already that I will rivet them up so then that will hold the brim solid and will hold everything together. So I think what we're going to move on to now is I'm happy with all of the stuff that's put onto it so long. I think I'm going to go over to start sanding it so long. Um, I'm not going to bore you with the sanding. I think you've seen one or two videos of sanding. Right, so carrying on, I've now polished all of the parts up to a nice satin finish. So you can see all the, nice, all the parts are nice. Um, satin finish on the, the surface. The reason why I go to a satin finish, and I don't always take it uh, all the way to a polish. First of all, uh, a polish, you know, it's time and effort goes into that. It's considerably more than, um, you know, a normal satin finish. And so you are longer, you know, it's longer time to produce the item and stuff like that. There are benefits to it. Um, you know, it doesn't rust as easily with the polished finish. I stick to satin because it's easier to do, it's faster to do. And most of my items are going to be used, they're going to be scratched up and banged and scratched. Now the thing with the polished item is you put it down rough on the table, it's going to leave scratches in it. So the polish is going to last long and there's not much, it's frustrating having something polished and there's scratches on it. Um, so that's so why I leave it in a satin, so you're not too worried about scuffing up the surface. And it's, from what I can see, is a bit more historically accurate uh, having a satin finish on, your, on the armor. Um, so yeah, now everything put um, polished up. I'm going to do one last fitting to see if everything fits together properly. So yeah, that's what we're going to do now. Now it's all um, temporarily put together with uh, screws. Now I can see the fit on it. Gaps like that will close up a little bit more when there's a permanent fixture in there. Um, otherwise I'm happy with it. It's got a nice finish, got a nice shape. And yeah, just a few more minor details to finish up. What we're going to do next is while it's in the state is I'm going to um, cut the leather liner. So it's going to have a leather liner inside, which the, the or leather strap inside, which the liner then screws those onto which I will also be making. And um, yeah, then once I've got that in, then I can do a paint up and then rivet it all together. <laughs> 